Welcome to Ozarks Tonight. I'm with Tina Hamlet, the Patient Education Coordinator at Cox Health. Tina, thanks for joining me today. You're welcome. We're talking about uh, opioids. It's a, uh, a topic that's been in the news a lot over the last couple of years. Uh, deaths from opioids has risen dramatically in the last 20, 25 years here in the United States. And Cox Health is actually implementing a new program to kind of help educate patients a little bit better about uh, you know, how to safely take opioids and you're one of the ones that's helped create that program. Um, let's first start off, uh, why uh, are opioids potentially dangerous uh, to patients if they're not used uh, correctly? Right, so opioids have been around a long time and a lot of people are prescribed opioids. And if people take the opioids prescribed to them um, and follow the instructions that they're given by their physician, they're very, very safe. However, if you take too much medicine or you take your opioid medicine, um, if you take the medicine too um, often, then you can have some um, adverse effects and it can be dangerous. But there are a lot of patients out there that do uh, need this medication, you know, if they've gone through, we were talking about it earlier, people that have gone through some traumatic surgeries or had a, a you know serious injury. Kind of talk about the instances where people need the pain relief uh, from opioid medications. Right, so opioids is a very common medication that we use for our post-surgical patients. Um, opioids are prescribed commonly for people with um, moderate to severe pain. We also use opioids a lot for our oncology patients uh, because they do suffer from a lot of of pain as well. And so we wanna make sure that we continue to have our opioid resources available, but we also want people to be able to take them safely and to follow the instructions and not try to take too many pills um, too often so that it become, doesn't become a dangerous situation. Definitely, and you know, just because it's in the news so much and talked about so often, mm -hmm. um, about you know people are scared of opioids these right. days in some some instances uh, but just kind of talk about the role opioids play in uh, helping patients recover from a surgery right so um, at our Cox Health hospitals um, it's they're very commonly used for our post surgical patients and so we try to educate our patients before they have surgery to help relieve any of the anxiety people may have related to um, opioids and we try to teach them uh, about how you can be safe with opioids and um, how you can um, really decrease your risk of a dangerous situation if you follow the instructions that um, that your physician does give you. So um, we try to talk to people ahead of time um, to alleviate their fears, let them know that if we control their pain appropriately and we manage their pain through their hospital stay, they're gonna recover uh, more quickly and be able to get back to their normal everyday life. Sure, and just kind of talk about the point of uh, where the hospital system was at when they when they came to the realization, hey, we need to do something to help educate patients a little bit. They see a lot of things on the news about mm -hmm. opioids, uh, maybe have uh, you know different, different viewpoints on what opioids are or might be confused. When did the hospital came to the realization to say, hey, we need to you know step up and make sure patients know what these are a little bit more and how to safely take them. Sure, so about a year ago, um, our CEO, Steve Edwards, um, gave a state of the system address to all of Cox Health employees. And part of our strategic plan for 2018 was the opioid crisis. And so we developed an opioid task force. Um, and within that task force, there were several teams that uh, emerged. And I led the team um, that really worked on patient education related to uh, pain management and opioids so that we can help reduce the um, the risks and um, you know just so that our patients can take them safely and be relieved of their pain sure and then kind of talk about uh, the program actually launched in uh, in late May right and uh, what has the uh, the reaction been uh, so far just we're about five months in a little bit more to mm -hmm. that program uh, what has the response been from patients so far? Right, so um, we we decided to focus on our post-surgical patients because they were a very high utilizer of opioids within our, our hospital system. So um, what we did is we um, focused on our post-surgical patients and we 
um, got a team together, it was a multidisciplinary team, um, and we looked at the patient's experience from the moment they find out they have to have surgery through their discharge. And so we decided to start the education uh, when they find out they're gonna have surgery. And we decided to use um, different methods of teaching um, our patients because not everyone um, learns the same way. So when they're in their physician's office, um, they have a conversation with their physician. They also get a pamphlet about pain management and opioids um, related to their surgery. And so we educate people about um, about pain in general and how we um, assess for pain when they're a patient in our hospitals. We, um, the pamphlet also has information about um, the benefits and the risks of taking opioids. And also something else that we um, really try to um, talk to our patients about are other methods to control pain other than taking medication. So that may be um, repositioning, it may be meditation, it may be um, you know dimming the lights. Uh, we also have a continuous relaxation music channel on our TVs um, here in our Springfield hospitals. So that can be very um, soothing to patients. So we look at a lot of different um, ways to control pain and we educate our patients on those. So that when they do come into the hospital, then when we offer them other methods, then, then they know what we're talking about and they can tell us what works for them. Definitely. And so then when our patients come through our pre-admission department, we continue our patient education and um, they watch a video about uh, pain management and opioids while they're in our pre-admission department. And then our nurses that work in that department are available to have conversations with our patients and answer any of their questions. So then when they do come to the hospital and have their surgery, they, they're fully aware of what we can do to help with their pain and how to do that safely. Definitely.